Hey guys and welcome back to another train simulator video. Today we're going to be doing part 2 of the was 2 part scenario but now it's going to be at least a 3 or 4 part scenario because the author has mentioned that um, it's going to be a 3 to 4 part scenario in, instead of just being a 2 part scenario so this will be part 2 and part 3 is already on the Steam Workshop so I will be playing that at some point and he hasn't re yet released part 4 so stay tuned for that and of course part 3 but yeah this is part 2 of the Denmark Hill uh, disruptions this time we're going to be driving a class 465 from Bromley South to I'm guessing Peckham right as obviously there are disruptions near Denmark Hill have we got the correct lights on yes we do so if you do if you are wondering where part one is then you will need to uh, go to my train simulator 2018 playlist as I did uh, play that scenario when train simulator 2018 was here and this was like a couple of weeks ago I think now at the time I didn't know that train simulator 19 was coming out I guess after that I did know it was coming out in the future, but not exactly what date it was, so I would have probably waited until Train Simulator 2019 came out before I did part one, but anyways, I don't think it matters too much. Our next stop is Shortlands. So this time we're playing a much more uh, less intense now in terms of the weather and I guess you could say the graphics as well as this is a much older route than the most of the rec line which I did in my Let's Play episode 1 which you can check out uh, below. I have lowered the graphics settings slightly down but overall it's pretty much the same uh, settings and so far it's uh, running pretty good actually very smoothly it's running actually really good actually I'm not gonna lie it's very very smooth I probably could up the graphics even more now but I'll keep it as this as we approach Shortlands the doors which are very quiet I can't even hear the op them opening doors they are open though so that's the main thing so we are at Shortlands it's kind of a nice screenshot there why not shouldn't be too uh, much of a wait and our next stop is going to be Ravensbourne Pretty much a stopping service to pick and ride, and that this would continue all the way to uh, London Victoria. But because of the disruptions at Denmark Hill, this train will be terminating at pick and ride. So interesting, probably happening on the weekend mostly because engineering works normally happen, uh, and disruption happen on the weekends anyway. Normally, okay, we are ready to depart. Please mind the doors. I'm going to be going underneath this time, opposed to going above. Kind of a cool journey actually, kind of feels like we're going in the London Underground Tunnel, but not really. I don't want to be going too fast because 
our next stop is very close by. But yeah, it definitely feels a lot smoother on this route than it did before. And it feels really good actually. It should appear very smooth on the gameplay, which you're watching as well, so hopefully you guys appreciate that. It does seem like the 64-bit might be uh, better on some routes than others, I guess. And maybe some routes may need a bit more optimization with the 64-bit to make them uh, a bit more optimized and uh, smoother, so yeah. I'm sure uh, in a few months' time then, or most routes will be slightly better with the 64-bit uh, operating system but we've already picked up passengers quite quickly there so <laughs> let's get going to the next stop which is um, Beckham Hill The mill is just like under a mile away from now, and then we have um, Bellingham, Hadford, Crofton Park, uh, Nunhead, and then Peckham Ride, which is just four or five miles away from here. to stop near the four car stop since we are driving a four car train which we've done pretty well actually to be fair can't even hear the doors open which is probably not uh, as realistic as it is in real life but this is a very old train so I sh shouldn't fault it too much but we are ready to depart mind the doors next stop Bellingham Empty the depot and probably another one. Empty the depot as well. Oh, not paying attention. That we are arriving at our next up very fast. I think we should be okay because it's more than a long enough uh, platform for us. Uh -oh. Well, we're not going to be stopping in the fourth time up today. Six and eight car stop marker. Okay, ready. This train is ready. Two, two, bots. Let's get going. Next station, Cadford, platform one. <laughs> AWS. I wonder what that's for. 
maybe a speed limit change, I'm guessing. It should be a clear run. Then again, it, there's disruptions near Denmark also. Potentially, we could face some um, yellow and red signals. I do doubt it very much. So we have three stops left. Tadford, Nunhead and Peckham Wright. Where you can change for the normal ground services and southern services. I don't think you can get any more perfect than that to be fair, so pretty happy with that stop. Take a nice screenshot, why not? So we have a bit more of a weight at uh, Cadford, it seems, which is nice. A passenger view. I don't think I've changed this much at all. Okay, we are ready to depart. Please mind the doors. Next stop is Crofton Park. I think I forgot about Crofton Park actually. I think I just said we had Catford, um, Nunheaded, and uh, Pack and Brian, but we completely forgot about Crofton Park. I can't really check the four car marker since I'm in this view, so we'll just hope that we are going to be stopping at the four car marker. And if we do, then that would be pretty crazy, considering we are obviously uh, sitting in the passenger seat. But I think we will be close actually. There's a four car marker. Um, there's only an S car stop. There might not be a four car marker on this platform. Yeah. Anyways, we need to get going. No time to waste, apparently. Next up, non head. Uh, I have 
like yellow or green, so it should be okay to approach none head. Next station is Peckham Rye, where this train will terminate. So you can't actually see Peckham Rye from here because essentially Peckham Rye is literally straight, and then it goes down a little left and down to the tracks alongside the Orograna service. It runs between Surrey Keys and Clapham Junction. It's actually a pretty cool journey between the station and the next. So. Okay, our passengers have boarded, let's get going. It's on the map, Pekarai is all the way down here, so... So we've got on the outside, because I do want to show you guys this. Next station after this is Delmar Hill, but obviously there's disruptions there, so we cannot stop there as we are going to be terminating here. And let's open the doors. Can't quite take a nice screenshot, unfortunately. Uh, I didn't want to take a screenshot there, but I'm not going to let us. So, anyways, uh, good job, driver. The train will now operate the return journey. Okay then. Give it a thumbs up. Pretty much perfect journey. So that was part two of Denmark Hill Disruptions. There's a part three and potentially a part four. So stay tuned for that on my channel. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, uh, give it a like, share it with your friends. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.